be in Mountain Field and we are doing some long exposures with the Irix 11 F4 with the Men's Photo 502AH fluter head with the carbon fiber slider with quick release adapters from Yulong Z that I modified and approved. So, and I'm using the Arc Slice aka Leo Photo carbon fiber tripod. And I am getting this composition and waiting for the train that's coming towards San Jose to show up, which it should be in maybe 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Well, as we wait, guys, I am, it's getting cold. The temperature is dropping fast. People are out here wearing coats now. <laughs> and I need to put up, I need to put on something warmer. So, with that to the everyone, Konnichiwa, Kambawa, Bonjour, Hello there. My name is Kiki Alazanda. Everyone calls me Panda. Because everyone doesn't know how to pronounce Keiki. <laughs> but with that said, everyone, please do subscribe, like, and share the content. We are here in Mountain View. And I am capturing some long exposures with a very, very wide angle lens from Irix. It's the 11 F4. And right now, I have it off to conserve power because we wait. But I wanted to share a story about what happened to our artists in San Francisco. You know the paintings on the, the, on the walls that I took video of? Well, someone in San Francisco decided to take one of the artist's paintings and don't know where it is. It's the first time he said that someone took it off. So with that said, everyone, San Francisco is a place where no one likes to listen, apparently. I left, not because of financial, that I load on money, but I left for the fact because people were not social distancing at all. On the city bus alone, it was packed. And I'm saying to myself, did the, the subway system just give up and said, we, we run and dry here because if you didn't know, San Francisco's uh, transportation system went down 90%. That's a lot. So I guess they said, you know what, who cares? But then again, that means they don't care for public safety. This is why I don't ride city buses. I don't want to. If I go to San Francisco, I take a bike. I walk if I have to. And that's the whole purpose. Walking is good for you. It's healthier. But uh, yeah, we out here and it's cold. And uh, I need to put on something warmer. So give me a second guys, all right? And uh, I'm going to place you down here. And you can watch my tripod for me, guys. Yeah, it's getting really cold. Oh, wow. I gotta put on this scarf. I gotta put on my shake mark. This is getting very cold. And I might put on another layer of sweater on because I feel cold. Oh, anybody want to buy me hot chocolate? <laughs> or hot tea tonight? You guys know what to do? Hit up the PayPal and the Vimeo or the Cash App. That'd be nice. I want some hot coffee. I want some hot something. Ooh. 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 I think I want to change my boots too. My sh these, these shoes are not ideal. I kind of want to be warmer. Oh. Yeah, these are my dress shoes. And they're not cheap. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I didn't want to wear the boots, but now I actually have to put on the boots because it's getting cold. So my feet a little bit feeling that little warmth. Wait, 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 is that the train? Oh, that's the train on the other side. Never mind. We wanted the train to come from there. So we want to pay attention to what's going on down there. So I already got one shot, guys. Let me show you the shots, please. May I show you? I hope uh, YouTube doesn't overexposed 
and uh, ruin this moment. But let me turn this around so you guys can see the shot that I took. Kind of, you guys see it? Looks nice, right? So I'm gonna stack these photos in Photoshop. And then when I stack them, I'm gonna, yeah, kind of blend them together. But I want another train to come this way because it is on that opposite side. So, yeah, that's one shot. And, uh, come on, stop overexposing. I wish it, I wish this camera stopped overexposing. Oh, we got, we got it. Okay, let's get ready. Let's get ready. Here we go, boys and girls. Oh, it's coming from this way. Okay, maybe we can get one more shot coming this way. How about that? Let's do it. Okay. Okay, got the virus remote. Everything's focused, everything is set. 15 seconds at 13 ISO 400. I'm not afraid to use ISO. ISO is not your enemy. ISO is your best friend. So Guys, please support the channel. Please like, share, comment. This is what I do right now. This is what I'm doing. This is, this is all I can do for right now to support myself. And I would love for you guys to subscribe, share, keep watching my content. Wait, is the train passing? Oh, yeah, this train is keep passing. Hold on. Uh, yeah. Watch this, guys. Come on, lift, 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 lift. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. Yes. Got it. I hope I got that. Oh. Oh, I hope I got that. It's really tricky trying to time this. Let's see if we got it. Come on, please tell me I got it. Please tell me I got it. Please tell me I got it. Oh, wow. Look at that. I got both of them. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I got that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. So satisfied with that result. Oh, wow. That train's actually blocking the lights down there. Okay. I'm so happy with that result, guys. Are you? Are you guys happy with that result? Let's go check it out again. Come on. Are you guys satisfied with that? I think I am. That looks brilliant, but what is that on this lens? Oh, it's the motion from that. Okay. That looks amazing. Oh, wow. Guys, oh, so satisfying, so satisfying, oh, love being a photographer, love coming out here, risking, right now, I have no choice to risk, but this is worth it, guys, if you guys want to buy me hot chocolate tonight, I would love some, please, <laughs> oh, my, got my gloves on, I ran out of hand warmers, I tried to look for them, I thought I had a ton of them, but Apparently, I guess I ran it out of them the, the other night. So, yeah. Those things keep me warm at some point. But not all the time because they run out of like, steam. And they don't really work for eight hours. They work for maybe like two to three hours the most. And then it dies off. But, uh, yeah. We out here trying to survive and taking photographs. And, uh... 
Oh, and I'm cold. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for taking a look at what I'm doing here. And you guys are probably saying, are you scared someone's going to rob you or take your stuff? I think I'm, this is the reason why I came to uh, Mountain Field. When I came here the other day in the 8th, I felt really calm. When I'm in San Francisco, it's like, oh, wow, I got to watch my D60 back. <laughs> you got to do one of those in San Francisco. And as someone that visits San Francisco, I have to go there to maybe get to go to the hostel. Guys, it's like people in San Francisco, I like a lot of people, but there's a lot of people that I see every single time and every day people are not doing the responsible thing. They think they, they are immune to the COVID. You're not immune. I wish people would just follow the freaking protocols. I, I was going to take a picture over there, but they got all these obstacles. It makes, makes the image, oh, it, it just makes, there's no composition, period. That's the end of that story. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to wait for the train to come back this way. Because that's what I really want. So if you guys can stick, wait, is that the train? That might be the train. No. <laughs> okay, we're gonna conserve some power. Turn this off. We just had a very first successful shot right here on Instagram. I mean, on YouTube, because I was on Instagram earlier. Oh man, it's cold. Why is it so cold? Ah, I picked the perfect day to do this. That night. <laughs> yes, tell tell me about it. Like, yeah, but. You're doing a good job. I hope someone tells me I do a good job because I want to feel confident and I'm, I'm sick of people bullying me in San Francisco. All the harassments and profiling and the hotel. Oh, wow, that's just terrible. Oh, yeah, is that a train? I think that's a train, guys. Yeah, I think that's a train. Yes, that's the train, guys. Let's do it. Hold on. What the? Okay. We are seven tenths under. A seven. We're about almost a stop under. And this is the reason why I'm, I'm quite. Almost a stop under. I'm seven tits under. But yeah, guys, right now I'm shooting with the Irix 11 F4, and we just made a beautiful shot. If you guys want to see me quickly, look at this shot. We just took it just a moment ago. Look at that. Look at that. It looks gorgeous. Trust me, it looks gorgeous. Now we're going to take another one. And here we go. 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 Let's do it. Let's do it. Woo! That train is moving fast. I think it's express. So you're going to try to catch it. Here we go. I hit it at the last minute. I saw the last car. And that's when I hit it. 
and we got it we got it we got it yes we got it Woo! I'm the man I love timing that so perfectly oh that's so good it's busy 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 <laughs> Oh, look at that shot. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh. I'm so sick with it. <laughs> I'm so sick with it. I love being a photographer, guys. There's no better other job that I don't want to be. It's the best job ever. Period. <laughs> I know. It's, it's a hard... It's a hard time right now for photographers and some photographers are making money still and some like me are making but got financial debt you know so gotta gotta worry about our bills like my phone bill is due in three days they better return my security deposits by tomorrow i need to paint the boat or no live streams so every third of the month I pay my bills and they keep yeah every third of the month I pay my bill so I think yeah it's they said three days from now so yeah today's the 30th right so yeah oh so cold we got that shot I think we are done we got the shots that we want right oh I need to I need some hand warmers I gotta find hand warmers Oh, my hands are freaking cold. Oh, I don't even have money right now to buy the hand warmers from the, from this. Where is it? Is it even in Walmart or open? Oh, nothing's open after a certain time anymore. There's no 24 hours unless you go to the gas station. That's different. But I think they will have hand warmers, but they sell it for a dollar. I can get those in a box for like $6.99 for like 10 in a box. So it's, yeah. That's why I don't want to waste money because I know I can get like 10 or 12 in a box for like $5.99, $6.99, even, probably even cheaper than that at Walmart. So it's, oh, oh, my hands. It's this freaking, it's this thing I'm holding that's causing my hands to be cold because it's aluminum. So I'm going to place you guys down here for a second as I go ahead and try to look for some hand warmers. I know I got some, some, somewhere. I have to have a few laying around somewhere. Ah. Hands. Look at my hands. I didn't lose all those heaters. Did I? Did I really actually use that? Wow. I need to keep count of my stuff. Because now, I'm not sure if I use all of them. I'm pretty sure I have at least one more left somewhere. I need it. My hands are freezing. The freaking temperature just dropped. I got out here earlier, guys. It was warm. Literally warm out here. And now it's... <laughs> California. Welcome to California. Are you bipolar too, California?
we just took some really nice beautiful long exposure shots i'm pretty satisfied with that and i know my video is not perfect it's not met it's a live stream guys this is the real world i wish people emphasize my videos and not say oh you can do your quality is so cheesy and your your production value is why you just do live streams like that you can do better professional live streams really you telling me you can do a live stream better live stream out here in this condition in my situation i want to see that i know i can but where are you going to get the power to order to do it yeah i have to remove some comments that have emphasized stupid suggestions about I could do better than that yeah <laughs> so let me just turn this off and, uh, yeah guys I'm Panda and uh, we just took some long exposure shots I might get one more just to fill my my pleasure with the long exposures because I got two going this way but I only got one going this way so the next train should be 20 minutes yeah probably in, I don't know maybe 20 minutes from now 15 minutes maybe 10 minutes Maybe there's a train behind this express train. Because I know there was quite a few limited trains that are going. What time is it now? Yeah, it's, it just hit 10 o'clock? Yeah. Because normally this is like rush hour. So, and why are the VTA police over there? They weren't there, they weren't there just a moment ago. Yeah, I don't want to take pictures of VTA. You guys are con artists. You guys are going to charge me 250 with no transfer. Great. Good, you do transfer to train to train, but transfer the bus to train is important. That's important. That is transportation well done. From train to bus or bus to train. Well done. But we're going to wait probably another 10 minutes. To see if another train comes by, we take a long, another longer exposure. And a lot of people do not recognize me here, because I'm pretty sure they recognize each other. <laughs> they do not recognize me here. That's good. Now you know pandas in town, <laughs> right? I stick out the most. And I need to change my boots, my shoes, because these my feet are getting numb, like numb. But. That Irix 11 F4 is just crazy sharp and crazy good. Guys, you gotta have this lens. I know it's manually, but if you want to emphasize your landscapes, your long exposures, and I was playing with the 15 for a long time, and I still love the 15. Because I know what I can do with that. I, I literally have that lens under my spell. Like, you do what I say, because we are family. We're supposed to look out for each other. Come on, Lens. Same thing with the 11. 11 was being mistreated lately. Because look, how many times in the video I actually, when I reviewed the Lens, and then I used it a few times, and then I stopped. And I kept using 15. I neglected the Lens. It's not fair. You can't show one Lens most loved, and, you know? So now I'm going to be using the, F, the 11 F4. For those reasons. Oh, oh wow. You turn on the lights? No. I'm, I'm cold. Oh. And I'm hungry. I'm super hungry. I was walking by a KFC earlier on the other side and I saw these potato wedges. I was like, I never had those before, actually. Yeah, I never had those potato wedges. I was like, because I thought it was cooked in the same oil. And I'm like, how much is it? I looked at it and I was like, oh wow, that's expensive for some damn potato wedges. I'm gonna get a whole bunch. But yeah, I'm looking around trying to see, because guys, I got a dollar seventy-seven in my bank account. <laughs> I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for the deposits to come right back because that doesn't make sense. Like people have to wait weeks 
days for a deposit and they they already checked out days prior it doesn't make sense this is what the the, the merchant has the obligation to release the funds by just giving keystrokes but no they let it do the automated system so it's always the automated system they let run okay good morning good to see you too well, it's night here, <laughs> and it's morning there with you are. <laughs> so, yes, I'm using the Veltrox RP008 LED lights. I'm using 50, I can use, I can use less power. Yeah, I can use 10% power and still get adequate light, you see. I'm about two feet, three, yeah, it's about two feet away right now. Look at that. And if I point the light towards me, see that? Not bad. This is 10% power, and this 10% power is going to last me another four hours. At 10%, yes. Because we did the live stream the other day, five hours. This lasted five hours. So now we know that the Veltrox RB08 can last up to four hours on 10% battery. That's impressive. Really. Because Mind you, this goes by increments by one value, not by fives or tens like other lights. When you have lights like that, that goes by fives or tens. Oh, now, sorry guys. When you have light sources that go by fives or tens, the light flickers and jumps. That is not accurate, CRI accuracy at all. You want something that go by one percent increments. This works. I gave away eight of these in the giveaway. So, and Weebly or Veltrox, it was named Veltrox, but now it's called Weebly Light, never gave me or participated in my giveaways. But naturally, I supported those giveaways with my own money. In the tripods, in the cameras, in the lenses I gave away, the GoPros, yeah, all that came out my pocket. And this is why I'm like, why is these companies now want to try to after I do after I do the giveaways now they kind of want to reach out and say you want to be collab no I don't want to collab now <sighs> too late I actually did collab I gave you guys a couple of days I gave most of you guys two weeks in advance to respond and you didn't and then when I post a video about it or share it on Instagram or Facebook oh now you want to send me too late after I already send the products to the guests, you want to try to... This is what some companies kind of try to do. If you do the giveaway, they try to reimburse you. To try to say, hey, can you put us in your... Can you put our tag in your giveaway? No, you didn't participate in that giveaway. I, <laughs> no. I, watch out when they do that, please. Don't fall for that. Don't let them take control over your craft. If it's sponsorship, make sure their sponsorship is right. No more loose ends. Because there's a lot of CNs. Trust me, went through them on YouTube. Too many loose ends. Too many. People still owe, people still owe YouTubers money like me. For those MCNs. Yeah. I don't want to use those. I don't want them to sponsor me anything. Because it's just trouble. It's just trouble. Ask all the YouTubers what happened back in 20, between 2014 and 2017. CNNs were robbing us left and right. The money that was supposed to be given to us never was given to us. And to this day, still not given to us. So, this is why my channel started dying. When I had to get rid of the, C, the, the MCN, MCN, I had to get rid of that because like it is ruining my channel and not only that, they weren't going to pay me my money back that I earned. So, and this is when the channel started dying, and then growing, and dying, then ghosting, and flagging, and then shadow banning YouTube. And every time I do a live stream, YouTube always demonetize it. Like this video, they're going to demonetize it. I'm not kidding you. They are going to demonetize it. So, be aware that I would have to go mainly in the computer and change all the settings when I already put the settings, YouTube does this, 
you guys saw it firsthand in the video, YouTube changes my settings every single time. I put in the date for this video, the location, where I am, but when I go into the computer, I still have to input that stuff in because they change it. <laughs> Don't know why they do that, but you can't you can't do that YouTube. But with that said everyone, we were talking about these LED lights, 10%, and look, I'm at three bars. Mind you, I live streamed early today for three hours with this. Remember? Yeah. In San Francisco. We're not in San Francisco. So that is lasting that long. So, and everyone, ah, I want some, I want something hot to drink. Ah, it's cold. Uh. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just cold. Uh. I, I'm trying to warm up. I am. I am trying to warm up. But we are waiting for another train to come. So we can get another shot. Now, have you guys seen those beautiful shots? Wow. You guys want to see it again? Check this out. Those that just tuned in. Those that just tuned in. Check this out. These images are going to blow your mind away when I add them. You're going to be like, oh, I can't wait to see those on Instagram. <laughs> you guys are going to be like, what? Panda. That's amazing. <laughs> look, look at this one. Come on. Ooh, look at that. That's going to be sick. <laughs> and then I got this one symmetric and then I got one blind I got this one this one this one now we're going to get another one and that's what we waited for a tra another train to come so guys please do subscribe like and share if you guys want to buy me hot chocolate tonight there's a PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. <laughs> oh. Or actually, hand warmers would be nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, I'm going to think I'm going to put on my boots because I got my regular shoes on. We're going to wait for another train. So, guys, being a long exposure or nice photographer, you're looking for the shot that you need or ask for a photographer, Guys, you have to have patience. Like, I know being in this corner doesn't bring a lot of emphasize to video content like this. Because everyone's like, well, you're just in one corner. That's not really night photography. Yeah, it is. If you have to stand there for freaking 45 minutes to wait a shot and then do it again to lay it or stack them or blend them or... You have to stand in one location for quite some time. The same thing as long, long uh, landscape for talking feet. Some people believe that. Oh! Oh! Let's get ready. Oh! Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Is Panic gonna do it again? Uh oh. Oh, it's coming from that way. Oh, it's coming from that way. That's no, 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 no. no. That means in 10 minutes or 5 minutes after this train leaves, another train is coming this way. That's what that means. Ooh. We don't want this shot. 
Yeah. So about five minutes, about five to ten minutes, another train from that direction is coming this way. So we'll be able to take the shot that we want. Is that a train coming the opposite way? Yes, it is. This car doesn't notice, but there's another train coming. I think. Oh, oh okay. That was in front of the train lights. Okay, never mind. I thought that was another train coming the other way. Ah, oh, come on. I'm freaking cold. I'm hungry. I want some. Co I want something hot to drink in potato wedges. <laughs> I don't know why I'm craving for potato wedges now. I like potato. Fr I like French fries a lot. That's why probably. But I walked by this KFC and I saw the potato wedges. I was like, oh wow. Actually, never actually went in there and actually tried those. Cause I want. I don't know. I, I guess because uh, I had the the Thai noodle. That's not really nutritious, but yeah, that's the only thing I could have could afford at the time. So. Yeah. Ugh. But I definitely need some water. I forgot to fill my uh, flask with water. That was stupid of me. Now it's empty and I had nothing to freaking drink. I should have freaking done that, but never mind. Ugh. But yeah, we are going to continue to stand here and wait. As we wait for our train to show. Uh, yeah, please um, watch all the, if you guys want to leave this video, you guys can. You can watch all my other content if you want. Uh, I need the support and I need you guys to tell me if I'm doing a good job or not. And, um, yeah. Because right now I'm like, my life is just, it's upside, it's, it's getting to the point where it's getting upside down. I'm still happy. I'm alive. But I'm still sad that people are actually passing away because of COVID. That's what bothers me. Like, why don't we... Why can't we be fucking smarter than we already are and do something really, really about this instead of talking about it? Because all we do is talk about visor, visor, shift the first, and dry ice. Well, hurry up. I know science, science takes a while, but you guys knew about this for years. Stop pretending this is new, government. You know about COVID since 2013, 2012. You know it's, it was bound to happen. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys didn't look, go to the TED Talk in 2014, yeah. Even Obama talked about it back then when he was president. <laughs> so it's like, why do people pretend this shit is new? It's not. It's not news. It's because you. Some people have the lack of of reading or paying attention. I pay attention. I'm not saying I'm perfect. Nope. Things like that scared the hell out of me. That's why I pay attention. <laughs> Ooh, pick your fingers. Come on. Ah, I need to change my boots. My feet are getting cold. 
Okay, we gotta change the boots. My feet getting cold. Because my shoes are not ideal at all. Uh. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I'm gonna put on my other gloves too. I didn't want to wear those because until it gets really, really cold. But uh, all right, let me hit on this boot. Oh, oh, that feels so much warmer and better. Oh, these boots are so good. <laughs> these boots are so good. And lucky for me, lucky for me, I put on thermals underneath my pants so my legs are not the problem it's my toes and my fingertips because they're sensitive they're not easy to catch frostbite i can easily catch frostbite easily this is why i try to avoid ah oh. ow right there my whoa i wish that light was the heater <laughs> Wait till the sun comes out. Oh, I love the sun. <laughs> but I also like night. Ah. Got the boots on. Oh. I love this wagon. Oh wow. I love it so much. Everyone that was watching it, like, did they, I guess they don't have one. They're like, wow, that's a DC tire. <laughs> yeah. Good, good spend. Good $70 spend. Very good $70 spend. I really like how he removes and I like how it just like this sticks out. So you're gonna extend it, lock it. But I noticed this happened. Right? Maybe we can pull it. 
this flies out anyway without the lock. So, mind you guys. Okay, got boots on now, and uh, whew. I'm gonna sit you guys over here too. I made this crazy thing for just for this. See, the handle, the battery brick right here, the battery brick that's not a new battery brick. The microphone's on top of that, upside down. Yeah, powering, I'm powering the phone right now through that, through that brick. But I want to conserve the power, so boom. Now, gotta get, gotta stay warm, warm. I feel like I want to put on another sweater. Oh. There should be another train coming, so I'm going to turn the camera on about five minutes. And even though I already had the settings preset, but I like my camera to warm up. I kind of want to conserve the power. Yeah. Got to stay warm. Ugh. Yeah, but this is what I can do to keep me happy. This is what makes me happy. What makes you happy, guys? Let me know. I want to see your comments. Come on, chat. Don't just watch me. You're stalking me. I feel... I feel like you're watching me all the whole entire time. But yeah. What makes you guys happy? Food? Entertainment? Sex? What? Video games? <laughs> Something has to make you happy. Look at these big giant leaves. <laughs> Just like Oregon. Giant, big, huge. Look at this. This is not even dry. It's still moist. Big leaves. Look at that. Oh, I got the micro too. The IX150 micro. We should do micro photography too. But look at that. If I take a micro lens to this, oh, the detail will come so beautiful. Oh yeah, we, we, we're going to do that tomorrow morning. We got plenty of leaf around here, we're going to do that tomorrow morning. Okay, pull that up like that. Yeah, we can do that tomorrow, micro photography. I gotta keep warm. I know. You guys were like, why are you kicking that tree? That tree did nothing to you. I know. That's why I stopped. <laughs> oh. 
You like my wagon? <laughs> I think that's why people were looking at me because I had that thing right in the middle. And I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. I really do apologize. I don't, I don't, I don't mean to interfere. This is not my city. I don't live here. So I do apologize if I was in the way. Ah. Uh. Come on. What time is it? It was 10, 10 30. We got like seven hours to go, guys. <laughs> seven more hours. Oh. It's actually eight. Eight more hours. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh. I hope I hope they just give it to me tomorrow. I just want I want a good breakfast. I want to. This is what I want for breakfast. I've been dreaming about this since yesterday. I want to go to the Safeway. I want to look for this woman named Sheila in San Jose. If she, uh, because I know that Safeway closed and everywhere was, and a new Safeway opened somewhere on that side. So. I don't know, I'm speculating, but I want a vegetarian burrito with potatoes, carrots, potini peppers, uh, artichoke, uh, sriracha, olives, black olives, if I prefer black olives, or green olives to be fun, but I prefer black olives. Uh, all the veggies, spinach, kale, and red peppers, green peppers, all wrapped inside. Oh, doesn't that sound so good right now? Makes your mouth watery. Mm, like my mask is so watery right now. Look at that, soft because it's wet because I'm thinking about food. <laughs> oh, that sounds so good. And a nice apple juice. Oh, a good old apple juice. You know, I haven't had apple juice in a while. So, you know what I didn't have in a while either? Pear juice. You ever had the pear juice? The pear, the pear juice. Yeah. But I didn't go to Asian market for that. But, yeah. That's the kind of breakfast I want. A, 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 a nice veggie burrito and an apple juice. Oh. Sounds so good. Oh. So... Hopefully, if we get to the, the process, I can return to San Francisco for a day at those photos so I can post it on Instagram and then leave the next day. I know. Why would you waste $36, $38 just to post the photos? Well, you never know. You might post one of these photos and someone might buy it. Maybe, maybe Caltrain is like, hey, we want to buy this picture from you. Cool. You want it? Five grand. <laughs> You're like, what? You're like, hey, I can frame it and sell it to someone else. No, I'm kidding. Not five grand. But, yeah, you can sell a decent price. Not five grand, though, no. Maybe like 15, two grand. Depends how much they want it. If they're doing marketing, oh, yeah, that's when you hit. If they're using it for marketing, that's when you hit them for five grand. Because they making profit off of your image for a lifetime. 
They might not even change the billboard for eight months. You know how much revenue they made because of that one billboard? Think about it. Be smart when you sell your photos. The, the highest I ever sold one of my photos was 15 grand. That was to the... That was New York City. And I took that money and paid half of my wife's debt, my deceased wife, Ayaka, not Yuki, Ayaka. Yuki's alive. Ayaka's is, I paid all her debt because now I paid all of my, I paid hers and my debt back in Japan. That means if I go back to Japan now and I go live there, which I already signed the application for, yes, I signed an application ahead of events, you know, the Japanese give you houses. All you have to do is pay the property tax, the water the insurance, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. They give away houses. They give away for like, what? Maybe like 600 bucks or whatever, or a thousand dollars, or five grand. And it's your house. Because there are houses there that are actually... On a scale of 10, how hard will it be for a beginner to pursue a life of photography? One, it's not hard. It takes patience. It takes dedication. It's not hard. It's all about if you love it. Listen, I had a, I had, I had a, a, an epiphany. Okay, when I first started photography, when I was 12, I'm 40. Right, I wasn't doing long exposures. I was documenting the kids that used to bully me in school, take pictures of them with the with the Minota GX1. That was my first film camera. I was using Chronochrome 35400s, I think it was X, X Tri 400. Yeah. So from scale one to ten, it depends on the individual. I still say one because it's it's all about if you love the art, you wouldn't scale it. You wouldn't scale it, and it wouldn't make sense for you to scale something like that because there's no scale when it comes down to education, and this is where people need to stop separating themselves and then and, and yourself. Scaling, leave that alone. So if you want to think about it rationally as an educator, like it won't be hard for you because some photographers would love to hang out with you and teach you because someone needs to teach someone our little secrets, right? You can't keep secrets by yourself for a long time. So we have to teach someone how to do it. So even if you spend two hours, three hours, four hours, six hours a day or a week with a photographer that you realize, trust me, those six hours you learn so much. You just like play around with shutters, understand how to balance the image. Just watch your exposure value. Watch your histogram. Sometimes your histogram will go off the charts because if you're shooting daylight, yeah, you gotta know how to control that light. You gotta know how to control light. I think anyone can do photography. It's just more photographers are so drawn to portraits because that's an easy way to make money. And, and it is. And it is a very good skill set to, you know, bring people's images to life in their face features. Because you know me, I'm all about the face feature. I like to keep some natural abilities in people's faces. I don't like to brush up too much. And I could do that. I have done that with, with, uh, with Keisha, the Russian model that I always go to New York for. Yeah, I always brush her skin up because she has beautiful skin. I don't really do have to do much. But with everyone else, I'd like to emphasize real beauty. Real beauty, not artificial Photoshop remove. You cannot, you can make someone beautiful and, and, and use the imperfections. But photographers don't choose to use it, that method. So I choose to use that method and leave the, the natural imperfections, but also touch on it and around it to make it blend. So people are like this is a that's, that's a natural portrait, not something you see touched up that you can tell like yeah that's 
that's done by a professional touch up. And when you look at my images, you're like, did he touch it up or he just left it? He did some touch up, but it doesn't, it, it looks so real. It looks just real, realistic, where I guess I'm trying to say it's, I love the natural ability. I love natural color. Natural. I love natural, bro. Uh, I hate human ability to hurt nat nature, so that's why I want to pursue. Oh. Yeah. Pursue it, dude. Go ahead. It's going to be fun, man. Trust me. You're going to have so much fun doing nature. You're going to be, not just nature. Nature's also as for photography, sunlight, daylight, exposures, long exposures, uh, micro photography. You, you're going you're gonna to actually want to get interested in all these things over time. So, but take just time doing it. Brush up, read on some information, watch other photographers, how they do their methods, and steal their methods. That's what you do. You steal their methods to implement your own methods. Capturing, capture that one moment when the snow falls on the tree and slow freezes. Okay, so how that works. Fast shutter speed. I would say fast shutter speed. Fast shutter speed, great ISO. Always use the shutter speed. Leave your ISO. If, it's, if you're doing this in like overcast sky, you want to leave your ISO between 160 and 200. Depends on the lighting. Now I'm just speculating because the lighting always changes, but always use the shutter speed to capture that water drop or, you know, it's, it's fun. Or you want to do high speed, high speed sync photography, you just flash to high speed that, that capture. You use high speed sync for that. Use high shutter speeds and you can use high, you can use high f-stops, but I'd rather use at uh, 5.6 yeah I'd rather use 5.6 if I'm gonna do it obviously I don't go over I don't go over 8 but oh. sorry guys yeah, I'm waiting on that train. I thought I... I waited on the train. I have to wait for the train. I want a second shot. Because I feel like I need to either... I'm going to stick him or stack him. That's what I want to do. I'm probably going to stack him. But yeah, I, that's definitely... Guys, please subscribe, like, share. We have 60 minutes, 63 minutes into this live night photography shoot. We are trying to capture the train. Oh, I thought you had to wave down the train to stop the mo No, I don't do that. No, no, no. See, I got it right there. When that bar, the, uh, the, caution, the caution bar goes down, here's the trick. The trick is when you see the last car, when it gets right into the middle of the street, you click. Or the very beginning of that last car, you click that button. Because what you want to emphasize is not too much light coming from the train. What happens with that is, you get all this white blur. You don't want too much of that white blur. You want some of that white blur. And after I have it on 15 seconds, what happens within the first six seconds, that white blur is gone, now it's just catching the trail lights. Now it's catching the background now. So it's stacking long exposures and within that 15 seconds. So it's not going to emphasize the whole entire train, which is bad because uh, you can have this long white streak. Sometimes that looks cool, sometimes it doesn't, but I prefer not to use it. Oh, I got this in my pocket like an idiot. <laughs> yeah, and I, this whole time, time I had this in my pocket, and I could have used this to make this video look even better. <laughs> See what I mean? And I just, ugh, I'm all over the place. But anyway, guys, see, this is much better, right?
So I'm using the Argus 11 at 4 again. Canon 80D is doing all these images because I, if you guys don't know what I did to my Canon 80D, Canon's priority is like, screw you, Panda. We haven't even licensed that black magic to that camera yet. Yeah, it's much better lighting. This is why I love these little, or, love these Veltra's RB lights. Does the glare hurt your eyes? This? Yeah. Well, right now, I I had a caught an eye infection. I still have one. And right now, you probably can see. But I put some medicine in my eye. And, uh, yeah. Like, I needed to put something in my eye. Because it was just watery and didn't want to stop. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it came from the hostel. Because, guys, think about it. I was completely fine that same day. We were eating right down the street at the Japanese restaurant. I was drinking, I was joking with you guys. I had two Orions. Then we went to eat it from the train or at the hostel. Where I touched something, or I don't know. Maybe I touched the door. Someone was touching the door before, before I came. But yeah, I feel like I, I caught it from the hostel. Because the next morning, mind you, I went to bed at 2 a.m. That, that same morning. I woke up five hours later with a really bad, nasty eye infection. That's fast for an eye infection to blow up like that. Now, eye infections like E-Mount, David, or Dr. Dave says, you know, uh, you know, it takes time. But this one came rapidly. I feel like it came rapidly from the hostel or from the cow train that I was on and I was touching stuff which I wasn't really touching because I was playing around with this thing. So I was just sitting there but I would like to take away my oh wow why? Oof. Who is that? Wait. Not you, I'm looking in the background. Watching my back, that's why. <laughs> it's a, in San Francisco, you gotta do this. If you wanna watch your back, you gotta go like this. You gotta do a full 360. You can't, you can't do this. No, you, San Francisco, you gotta... <laughs> and you guys seen what happened to me in the last couple of days in San Francisco. Discrimination and profile on oh, that's nasty. And that black security woman lied her butt off. Told the Caltrain supervisor I tried to hit her with the gizmo thingy that I have here. Yeah, right. If I had an eye infection from a stay at any hotel, me immediately refund request. Yeah, but I don't. I can't. Listen, I can't speculate where I got it, but. It had to happen either on the cow train, on the way to the hostel, or at the hostel. Don't know where, don't know how. I could have touched something in the kitchen last night. I could have touched something at the doorway and entered the hostel. But it's not the hostel's fault, it's people. Please let me explain. Today alone, I saw several city buses full of people. Like standing next to each other, like a normal day, like nothing happened, like COVID never exists. I'm sitting there watching, like, and you guys in California have the nerve to complain about not getting money when you guys are purposely getting yourselves out there getting sick. Oh, that makes sense. Damn. Yeah, they were on the bus. Guys, I, I, I even showed this a few times on my Instagram. This is what COVID is like here in, in, in Southern California? In San Francisco, do you guys even freaking care? This is why I also left the house. I'm glad I left the house today because that guy John, he said some really racist stuff about Japanese people and I went, I went on a rant on him. I was about to bust his ass open. He know I was about to bust him open. He disrespected my family and me. Like, 
He said, you Japanese people don't know how to relax. I'm like, really? I think we're the calmest people in the world. He said, but they are not Japanese, but I learned from them. They didn't want to raise me. They taught me better values, better self-respect. You sitting here smoking marijuana and oil and drinking beer and talking nonsense about cultural differences like how they don't make sense. But you sitting here don't make sense. Argue with me about how the hostel, which I re represent and support, because I love the Northwest Fort Hostel. You're going to tell me the owner is stupid for not allowing you to smoke marijuana in the property. Doesn't make sense. There are so many people living arrogant, bro. They live, they believe God will protect them. So they arrogate a nori warning signs, blinds, takes leaps in faith as if God told them to. No, it's, I don't think it has something to do with God. Because most of these people don't even talk about God here anyways. <laughs> I can tell you that from first hand. They don't talk about God here. They, they, they only talk about God when they, some tragedy happens. Okay? What it is, is image. If you don't look a certain way here, dress a certain way, look dope a certain way, you don't fit in. Yeah. But here, you gotta look, play the profile. Look dope. If, like, just the last couple of days, ask anyone here, When the woman's profiling me, she assumed I was like a loitering and trespassing. Oops, I gotta plug this up here. Oh, there we go, guys. Here we go! Coming from the other direction. Why? I don't, guys. In my opinion, I try my best to stay safe. Right now, the reason why I'm here, I want to be safe. I'm gonna be sleeping outside for a couple of days. That's fine. I can live with that because I need to save money. I can live with that. But how many of the, how many of those individuals up there in San Francisco can live with that? I can't be homeless. No, the government owes me money. I can't be homeless. Yeah, did you work? No. Did you work in 2019, 2020? No. So why are you complaining? You get free money. You get free. free. First of all, they get free money, free food stamps, and all that stuff up there. One guy at the hospital was like, hey, I live in LA, I came up here, just to blah blah, anybody want to buy some food stamps? I'm like, did you just say that in the hospital right now? <laughs> and I was like, you are either, you either drifting along or you are just, you, you might have stole that card. So, but it's, it's a federal offense to sell you whatever that is. Hey. I want this train to come from that way. I want this train to get out of here. the train like Wonder Woman just woo and you just like glide on the train do a, do a, do a power slide <laughs> um, I know my imagination is so animated I know it's 
episodes yet. I wish I could do more. I wish I was able to do more voiceover animes in, back in Japan because I went to a class to do that. And I was like, oh, I think I could do that. But then I was like, nah. No. It's not for me. <laughs> they dragged me along for the ride. <laughs> oh, my feet are cold. I want some hot. I need something hot to drink. I said hot cocoa earlier, too. And I was like, what the hell am I thinking of hot cocoa for? When I'm, I can't even have chocolate. You have done... Huh? Have I done anime before? I did two Roy service before when I was younger. But that was... I think that was like a... That was more of a like classroom... Thingy... Whatever. Because there was most of the people trying to be Roy service back then. It wasn't good money either. It was just chop chains for this, us kids, you know? <laughs> it wasn't very look at it. You know what this look at this? Back then for me, hustling. Oh! Here we go. the man guys you guys want to support the channel please do I have the PayPal cash app memo right there in the description really helps if you guys want to buy me some hot tea tonight and a hot snack so screenshot the ES on the pass out of what out of habit hold on one second and, oh. Okay. Oh wow. Oh. Look at this one, guys. Let me zoom in real quick. Food. This is how I fool the overexposure on YouTube. And then back up right there. Boom! Look at that, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Oh yeah, that's so sick, <laughs> so sick, yeah, it, it's, it's so epic right now, I can't wait to get to a hotel or a hostel to edit those photos, oh, you know how many people are going to go crazy if I still post them tomorrow, they're like, wait, 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 like, I never thought about doing that, and now I watch, everyone's going to go out and do long exposures about trains, I think it's fun, but, I'm not done. I got something trick for you guys. Check this out. We are not done. We got one more photo to take. And this one is important. You know what? I've been saying this for the last three weeks we're going to do it. You know, you know what's coming up guys, right? You know what's coming, right? Fire exposure time. All right. I'm gonna do the fire exposure. I'm gonna get the wool and the nine volt battery.
Okay. Guys, please support the channel. Share it. Like. Subscribe. Sorry. Keep forgetting this. I'm so sorry. Oh wow. I'm, I'm like, ooh, what the? Oh wow. I did that. Please support the channel. It really helps me. I think we can do it. I think we can do it right over there. Because the trains have already passed. So now I have this stuff. This is. Oh, it's, oh, it's cold. Okay. I have all this stuff. Okay, I'm using this gray wool stuff. This is double uh, two triple fours, grade A. And let's see if this stuff is still good because it's been in this, in here for a while. It looks yeah, it looks still good. We're gonna open this up. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. We're gonna just stretch it out. Not too much. I'm gonna put it in the whisk. We're gonna put this in the whisk. And we're gonna brush it out out of the whisk. Wait, what was the comment? No, bro. I want to see fire cap fire captures from you. That's what we're doing right now. This is called fire exposure. We're doing that right now. Then I think we should put on another layer, I think. I'm gonna share it and drop in it in. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put on another layer. Wait, where's the other one that I had up here? Oh there it is. It dropped on the floor. I'm just gonna wrap this around this one. We're not sure how long we're gonna do the exposure for. But with this one, I'm probably gonna have to take this coat off. Because I don't want this to burn. Because it will burn. So it's gotta be extremely careful. So you gotta practice before you do it. So this is why I got this type of rope. The string. With the handle, I normally wrap around my hand and practice a, 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 a perfect circle, like without moving it too much. Okay, maybe the, I need, nope, I need bigger. So, what I would do when I shoot, I try to stand as still as possible and just be doing this. Or, I can do this. Okay. 
Make a feel for that, but we want to make sure that this is covered. What happened? I missed that. What happened? When you when you are done, you can donate risk to the Portland Hospital. Ha! <laughs> 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 uh, I get that joke. <laughs> I'm going to get it right here. I'm going to shoot this. See, got the 9 volt battery. You guys are like, what? There, so keep this away from it because once you touch it, <laughs> you it's going off. <laughs> it's going off. Because, <laughs> mind you, this is kind of dangerous, but we also want to emphasize photographs. So, I'm gonna turn you guys around in this way so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna have you face that have you face that way so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna let that cool down. We're gonna let that cool down before we put another set. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is stuff it so it lasts longer. But, if we, but we're gonna check the image, see how it looks. Come on. It should have taken it. Oh, it did not take it. Why? It was in line of sight of this controller. Oh, come on. You seriously? Ah. Uh, guys. It was right in line of sight. 
of this controller. Why didn't you take it? I'm gonna try to do it again. We're gonna try to do it again. This is why I, I had someone else make sure that the trigger went off. Because sometimes Okay, we're gonna try one more time. Sorry guys, we're gonna try this one more time. Apparently the, the trigger did not send the signal. So I'm gonna stuff it this time. Guys, wanna buy me some, some hot tea tonight and a hot snack? Donation links down in the description. I'm gonna I think this is, I think I deserve a hot snack tonight. <laughs> oh man, I'm about to burn my clothes for this. Oh wow, I hope I just don't burn this coat because this is brand new. And it's not cheap. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is take this second one. But mind you, this exposure is only 15 seconds. So you don't need it to burn that long. You got the exposure right, so you don't need to like. But we're gonna wrap it like a burrito, like a burrito. Yeah, make sure this will fall off when it spins. See? Nice, like a, like cotton candy. <laughs> you got the battery in the pocket, right? Yes, we do. We shouldn't have that in the pocket because this is also wool. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's over there. communicated from here. That's strange. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, one second, one second. I'm gonna lay it with the rest of that fell off. This is the rest of that fell off. So I'm gonna put it on top. Okay. This the battery, okay. Got to the controller. Let's do this again. Yes. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna set the shutter speed at uh, ISO. Uh, I'm gonna put 20, 20 seconds.
So the settings that I'm using is 20 seconds at 14 ISO 200. <laughs> All right. Okay. So let's hope it took it this time, because I saw it go red. I saw it go red. So. It did not take it. What is going on? Why is this? This. Okay. Something's going on. We doing the right. It's that controller. We need to have it line of sight. This is why my original review for this. If you're not directly in front of it, it's not going to communicate. Don't know why, but you need to change. Guys, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have it sit. I'm going to have it sit right there in the line of sight, so there shouldn't be no excuse for this thing not to go off. Seriously, because this is bullcrap. In the line of sight, so it should. Yeah, I'm gonna have it right there. You guys see it? Cause Okay. I need to get the rest of that roll. We're gonna do it one more time. But first, let's try let's just test out our little experiment.
it's not reaching as far as it should. I'm sorry guys, you didn't, oh, sorry. I was over there, noticed that it's not reaching like it normally did when I did initially the first test. Initially the first test, I went, a, I went about 70 meters and it died off. I'm not even going near 70 meters, I'm probably going like 30 meters, 40 meters, and it's cutting off. So what we have to do is set it on fire, run to the spot, Press the, tr press the trigger, run to the spot. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do. So we're gonna have to do it a little bit differently this time. Ugh, just wasting this stuff. This stuff cost me like five bucks. Stuff is like five, six bucks. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, I need that. Sticked in the garbage. Okay, we're gonna try it again. This time we're gonna do it smart. We're gonna stuff this really nicely. Get that little puff puff. Get that little puff puff. Okay. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. Ooh. Stuff flakes. Yeah, see? Okay. Come on, we can do this. Got one person left in here, huh? Well, everyone left. They're gonna miss the best part, I guess. Okay. Let's try to do this one more time. Okay, so we have a malfunction here. This thing just started acting up. It froze. And then it resets the freaking channel every time. Stupid. This, this part is not perfect, but it, it does work. Okay, let's try this again. Fire exposure. Gotta get, gotta jet, bro. Looking forward to see the end results. Peace. Thanks. See you later.
Guys, I cannot get a photograph of me doing this. This trigger seems to be malfunctioning. Let's try this one more time. Man, I just wasted a whole freaking bag for one shot. Normally I get this right the first time. It's that freaking remote, wireless remote. Could be the batteries probably could be dying, I don't know. But it should still pick up the signal. I'm gonna have to probably do this manually the hard way by pressing the trigger and running out there and setting it on fire. It's not expensive, but man, I really put the last money into this buying this stuff and this other stuff just to make sure that I got the right stuff. <laughs> and like, I think one of my freaking this trigger won't reach the community, won't reach the receiver. That's come on, man. That's just that's so lame. Now I gotta do this manually. Oh wow, that's, oh wow. <laughs> okay, definitely worked this time. Let me trick it. Yes, you too, I gotta trick you over exposed. Crap. And oh wow, that's super dangerous exposed. But once I clean it up, you guys can tell that's me in there. Yeah, it's there. But oh wow, let's see that. It's pinched to zoom. Hold on. Back up a little bit. Yeah. That's I'm pinching and zooming on my screen. Yeah. That's a little crazy. Oops. Yeah. You can see me right there in the middle. Okay. All right, we got one shot. Now we need to get one more somewhere else tomorrow. I don't want to play with this right now. We wasted our whole bag because of the trigger. Failed to participate in our research study here. <laughs> okay, it's cool. 
So yeah, I had to like press the trigger manually, run over there, well, light it first, then quickly press the trigger, run over there, and that's how I had to do it, manually. Because the trigger would not communicate. Anyway guys, this is Panda. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Guys, if you want to support me for the midnight snack, please, I would really appreciate it. I want hot tea, some potato chips, maybe a cookie. Ooh, cookies and potatoes and hot tea sounds good. Or biscuit. Ooh, biscuit. Yeah, hot tea and biscuit. I like that. Not, not the biscuit biscuit, you know, the cracker biscuits. Yeah, for tea, yeah. But thank you guys. Appreciate you guys kicking it with me tonight. We try to kill some time. It's only 11:30. I still have like seven hours to go before sunrise happens. Oh, we try to keep our warm, but I also need to get find some free water because I'm thirsty as hell right now. And I don't see a water fountain anywhere here. And I'm thirsty. And Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. But I gotta let you guys go. I gotta stay battery. Because uh, I'm not sure if I want to stay in the house for a little bit or I need to save. I need to, I need to make some type of revenue money here. So I'm gonna go around to these uh, shops tomorrow. If they open, I think they shut it down again because California shut it down again because of the spikes of COVID. Yeah. So it's not looking good for me financially here. <laughs> I just cannot get a freaking break. Cannot get a break. Seriously. And I hope my deposits come in. So I, I definitely need my deposits to come in. They better come in. Because I need it. I need to eat. I need some subsidence in my body to keep me functioning. I also need to pay my, my phone bill pretty soon. So, the, yeah. And I need to make sure that I have enough money for transportation. Because I don't have enough right now. And I think I can get on the train. With a, I have a dollar seventy-five left on my clipper card. It's the, the ride is two fifty. So, but I think I'm about riding the clipper card for the last two hours before sunrise to stay a little warm and then come back here and then I definitely won't have coffee to even go anywhere so that's another thing probably won't have coffee to go anywhere but if they don't give me my deposit back but that's what we were hoping for but with that said everyone it's panda and it's cold and we just did some night photography some long exposures and a little bit of fire exposures after like four failed attempts because of this stupid trigger. But you know, work in, it's weird. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's not ideal. With that said everyone, thank you for watching. And uh, let's go pack up right now, shall we? We're gonna pack up right now. Camera did. Oh. Right. Okay. Now we can pack this stuff up.
So each time I use my lens, I clean it with a nice lens, a microcloth that's wet, and it cleans my lens every time, so I don't have spots. But let's take a look at those images again. Ooh, it's so sharp too. Oh wow, but it's lens glare, but that's fine. So sharp. Oh wow. I can't wait to edit this. Oh wow. That's a pretty incredible shot. Yeah. That's pretty... What is that? Oh, that's me running out there. That's what you see. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. You see me actually running. You don't see me. You see the ghost dead part. Or the fire trail. Looks good. Oh, these are so hot though. Oh wow. I can't wait. Guys, everyone's gonna go crazy when they see these. Oh wow. I can't wait to go crazy on you. <laughs> I love being a photographer. Okay, so we need to put the battery back in here so it doesn't con contact anything else. It's gonna keep the battery safe. Cold. Go away, Paul. Go away. Okay. So, we got one bag of wool left. So, we're going to make this last. So, whisk. Whoa. 9 volt battery, that's all you need. No excuses. Now you go out there and you shoot too. Freeze your butt off, like I am right now. <laughs> oh, I wish, I really wish my financials were a little bit better. Well, I wouldn't be saying that if COVID didn't freak this all up. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, COVID. Thanks for ruining everyone's lives. And making people even more stupider than they already are. I just can't believe someone actually punched a National Guard in the face because he didn't want to wear a mask. This happened in Puerto Rico, by the way. Couldn't believe that. You're going to punch a National Guard in the face because he told you to wear a mask? Yeah. That's why I said sometimes you can't fix stupid with stupid. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Ah, uh, hold on. Let me see if I get my money in from the security deposit. Nope. Just like, nope. This is ridiculous. How long do I have to literally freaking wait for my money to, to return? Ridiculous. I tell you, people don't care about people. They're so lazy to do it manually. 
They like to have to let have to let the, the electronic system do it itself. Why you merchants can do it manually? And I haven't been at the establishment in days. Return my money, please. Ugh, this is terrible, man. I'm fucking thirsty. I gotta find a water. Some I gotta find water thing. But we're just gonna be one. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.